if you want to make a fixed acid journal, what if this journal is for acquisition transactions, which means purchase new fixed acid or uh, create depreciation for the fixed acid or uh, make disposal, whatever the disposal is, disposal sale or scrap. So you have to uh, make fixed asset journal from fixed asset module. Here from fixed asset journal entries, fixed asset journals, then new screen will appear to you. As you are seeing, this main screen would show uh, all created transactions and not posted. In this parameter here, you can select all, so it can show all transactions, all journals, whatever it's posted or not. Here also you can select posted only or no posted. By default, it came as no posted to show here the journals which are not posted. If you want to create new journal, click new. Here select the journal name, fixed asset transactions. If you want to create specific journal name for the acquisition and another journal name for depreciation and the other one for disposal, you can create this, you can back to the create journal names in general ledger setup, you can do this, okay? So I will select the journal name. Here, for example, you can tap, or you can edit or delete the dimension. Here, purchase new table, for example. You can control C to use this text in the lines. After you click the description here, you can click lines. So the line screen will appear to you in order to make the entry. Here, if you are making acquisition, so you have to select the type is acquisition. If you are making depreciation, you have to select depreciation. If you are making disposal sale or scrap, you can select the form here. Whatever the transaction type you have to select here in order to use the accounts in the posting profile setup which we used. Okay. So the first option to create acquisition journal or depreciation, whatever, here select the transaction type and here select which fixed asset record you need to make for this, for example, this record. If you click the tab, so the name here will generate it now for the fixed asset and the depreciation book for the asset it will generate automatically. In the description field, you can control V here to enter the field, and you can enter the value for the purchased assets in the debit, then the offset account type, whatever it's ledger from BT Cash or from vendor or from bank directly you need to pay. So you have to select which bank account you purchased, or if you select a ledger, so you have to select which ledger account, for example, BT Cash or like this. Or from vendor, so you have to select from which vendor you purchase this fixed asset. In our example here, we will put bank and we will put the Arab National Bank. If your fixed assets purchased from purchase order, so the purchase order posting, it will be uh, used the uh, clearing account in the transactions here. So here. If this fixed asset purchased by fixed asset, you have to select here by purchase order. This fixed asset purchased by, by purchase order. So you have to select the account here as ledger and use here the ledger account which you used as a clearing account for the fixed asset in the purchase order. Okay. In our example here, we purchase the phone bank and we will select the bank. So this is the first step. If you want to make depreciation, you can change the type for depreciation and select a specific fixed asset number, for example, and here write description as you want. Here in the depreciation, as you are seeing now, the amount is come created as it's accumulated depreciation. So it will be, for example, 20, 200. To, to real and here you can put here the offset account type here ledger and here you see the offset account 
expense for the financial depreciation from the posting of file it used. So this is the first option. You can select the transaction type and select the account and only the amount. If you are making acquisition, which means purchase new asset like the first line, you have to select the offset account. If you are make depreciation, so the accurate depreciation and the depreciation expense, it will generate it automatically from the setup for the posting file. Only you have to select what is the fixed asset number in both steps. So this is the first option, which is manual option. I will delete these two. Yes. Okay. There's another option. When you create lines from this screen here, from the fixed asset screen journal, and you click the lines, so this screen is appear. Here, if you are seeing these proposals, you are see her proposal, which means it will give to you directly the if you created acquisition proposal like this. Okay. So after click proposals here, you will find these options available. Whatever is acquisition proposals or acquisition adjustment or depreciation proposals or special depreciation allowance or disposal sale or any other of this. If you want to select anyone, for example, in our example, we make acquisition. So you click acquisition proposal. Here you can click filter and select a specific fixed asset number. Or you can click OK direct, which will show you all created assets, but still not acquired. As you are seeing now, system show you all required assets, which is still not all created assets, but still not acquired until now. You only have to here select the account type. The office account type is bank, for example. Like this, you have to select each offset account type for each one. For the purchasing. You can select, as we explained, you can select uh, ledger or vendor as you want. But in our example, we take bank, as you are seeing. Once you finish, validate the journal and you can post the journal in order to affect the ledger accounts with this fixed asset and also affect the fixed asset transactions. Once you finish, you click post. So now you did the acquisition. You have two options. The first option manually, you can select one by one, as we explained before, and you can buy proposal here. Okay, so this is the first one for acquisition journal. If you want to create depreciation journal, click new here, select the fixed asset depreciation journal. And here, for example, for December 2018, okay, you can click Ctrl C and go lines directly. In the depreciation, you have the option to select here, but we not recommend this. Always go to proposal, then depreciation proposal. Here you have to select what is the two date, which means the last date in the month. If you are making depreciation for December, so you select 31 December. If the November, so you select 30 November. If you need to summarize the depreciation as a report, you can click yes, summarize depreciation, and they click OK. Now, system will show you all created fixed assets and the depreciation for all fixed assets one by one. It will be appeared here because there is no asset acquired until now, so there is no depreciation. Okay, so if we need to make sure about the depreciation, we can click save now and close this screen. Okay, and close this screen also. And we can, okay, let us do this one. We will back again. Okay, for example, this one, this fixed asset acquisitions. We can post it, let us see what is the, uh, Missing dimension. Let us put a dimension now, require dimension. 
function for example okay we are making examples so let us put in dimension now to test the example okay as i noted now there is some user make more dimensions here as a test environment click ok ok and i will go to this fixed asset also and i will come here to financial dimension i will come to the dimension here and i will click the dimensions as it is in the life all this dimension will not be required but now as it is okay Okay, and I will delete this other ciliary lines. <clears throat> then I will validate the acquisition journal and I will post it in order to make sure that the transaction, let us see here, you there's going to be one account transaction, view voucher, one bank account, okay. In this example, I will delete another one because the setup for the test environment, but in the life you will not find, you will not found these issues. Then I will pause the transaction now to pause the fixed asset. Okay. Now the good thing if I create while I am purchasing new fixed asset and I use the proposal, acquisition proposal to purchase fixed assets. Okay. Now the journal is posted and the operation completed successfully. Okay, so now if I back again to the fixed asset depreciation here, I will click line. I will not select anything here. Anything you have not select anything. Or if you will select a proposal, don't select anything here. First, go to proposal, depreciation proposal. To date, select the last date of the month. Click OK. So you will find there the Fixed asset which we purchased it is available here in the line. You have to check and post it. Once you finished, you can validate and post the journal. Thank you.